I'm pretty much just about there now. This island looks insane, doesn't it? This is like a paradise. Yeah. So we've been on the boat for about, what, an hour? Yeah. Like the worst journey ever, but, wow, we're here. And this looks absolutely mental. Look at that. It looks quite popular as well. It does. You can kind of see a lot of the rooms have already been yeah. occupied. I'm not sure how we're going to get out. Yeah, not a clue how we're going to get off this boat because I can't see a jetty yet, so... It looks like a building one. Yeah. I could be wrong. I wonder how they're going to put us. So I hope it's picking up on camera. The sea and the beach here is so blue. Like the bluest water ever. That's crazy. Look at that. And now we've just got to go find somewhere to park up and get off. So we've made it, finally made it. This place is magical. Beth's just dropped the bags off and we have Welcome Fernand. To Joshua <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. It does look good. Thank you very much. This is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Should we do a room tour? Yeah. And this is Fernand, yeah. our host. <laughs> Hi, how many bungalows? That's a good question. Thank you. I have a one, two, three, four. Four bungalows. Four bungalows. Nice. The other one, the next one. This bungalow is not belongs to me. Uh. It belongs to other persons. Okay. But the persons who built that bungalow who, who already passed away. Oh. Uh. Yeah. That's why it's not. It's not. Uh -huh. So you not, you don't take them over? Uh, I will. I will. Eventually. I will. Yeah. Yeah. This is my. This is one of our new. Lovely. And actually, I'm trying my best that if you are coming, then I would like to put you in the, this new one. Okay. But. It's okay. Ah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. So then we're now going to give a room tour. I mean, it's very basic, but I mean, like, we're here on the beach in a bungalow. Like, it can't get any much better than this. You can't really. Can't it's get insane. Any more remote than this. Yeah. Off the grid. And we actually found out we're pretty much like the only people here. So we've got all the workers, obviously, but there's no other tourists here or guests here, which is rare. But I mean, welcome. So yeah, I mean, give my feet a little wash first. Because sand in the room is not the one, is it? I made that mistake before. Hmm. They are just building a new one there, hence the banging. But this is the balcony. Please do mind our suitcases. Oh, we've got a nice hammock there. We got do some... love the hammocks. Yeah. I buy that. I'm going... too heavy for them, though. A nice thatched roof. I think these are like banana leaves, maybe. Um, chairs and a little table. Our towels. A nice little mat here, and then oh, voila, here is the room. Very, very basic, as you can see. We've got a fan there, we've got a big mozzie net to keep all the bugs. I already like how these mozzie nets are sh like stretched this way. Yeah. It's the most annoying thing, we have to keep kicking them out. I'm yeah. Thinking. We've got like windows here, pop that open, a back door here, which is nice, and then yeah, the bed on the floor. And that's pretty much the accommodation on these islands, like, it's not like it's kind of like a budget Maldives, like an earthy budget Maldives, uh, yeah. isn't it? You're at one with nature here. You absolutely are at one with nature. Uh, it's so nice they provide a fan though, it really yeah, does make a difference. And does. you've got a little drying rack there as well with the towels on there. Yeah. Um, so it's actually everything you need. It is everything you need, it's not it really like luxury, is. But you, it's, it's everything you need to kind of have a nice, comfortable stay. Yeah, and like the hosts will cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner for you. Obviously, there's no shops on the island, so you can't cook yourself, and there's no kitchen utensils but they will cook lovely meals so we are about to have lunch in a minute actually um, and then hopefully the weather holds out because it is a bit cloudy and it's raining on the islands over there now each island does have its own microclimate so i don't know i mean so far okay but i think it's gonna rain what do you reckon i mean sometimes when it rains it only rains for like five minutes and then it will be like pure blue sky sun afterwards so you, you honestly can't tell if it's going to wait or not. Mm. I'm hungry. So let's unpack and yeah, get some food. Hungry. Right then, lunchtime. Let's go and see what the local chef has cooked us for food. The Should local be... chef being, I think, her wife or her sister. Oh no, her cousin. His cousin, His I think. Cousin, yeah, it's like a very tight-knit family here. So uh, we didn't realise that the guy who dropped us off on the boat is actually his nephew. So yeah, it's all a bit like interlinked somehow, but... We are just heading back to the kind of eating area now and again we are the only ones so it'll just be me and dan eating i think we are expecting some rice vegetables egg maybe maybe some fruit as well yes be interested to see what kind of fruit they cook here uh, make here because i can't see many fruits other than coconuts 
Right. And usually we would get fish, but I think we let them know kind of last minute that we were arriving, so there might not be any today. Yes, here we go. Here we go. So on these islands, they're kind of like all the same, where they've got these like flasks of hot water, tea, coffee, mugs, your water thing there. And then, oh, this is nice, isn't it? It's nice how it's all on the beach as well. These ants everywhere. And yeah. I think these are the ones that bite us. I think yeah. these are where all the bites are coming from. These ones can go. Right then. Nice. So a nice little tub oh, of rice. Nice oh, it is nice and warm. We've got rice. We've got Ooh, an egg. Nice. I'm not sure what they're cooked in, but that looks it good. It smells nice. And veggies. Some veggies and, and then some banana. bananas. So this looks quite nice, doesn't it? It does. But yeah, even like the last homestead, there are kind of these plastic tubs. Um, and that's a lot of rice for us to eat, isn't it? Hi! Yes. Yeah. Just about... No, it looks lovely, thank you. Yeah, it looks good. What's, uh, what's on the eggs? What's... Uh, sauce. Oh, nice, okay. Nice. Yeah, it looks like, good. Uh, sauce, tomato. Okay, yeah, perfect. It's very lovely, thank you it very looks much. Lovely. You're welcome, enjoy your simple lunch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank very you. much, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. He's so nice. He's so lovely. I don't know if you want... And this is what we call island life a food. Mm. Oh, yeah, bless that? him. He did say this is very basic because obviously we were a bit late. This we're not late, but we just kind of let him know that we were coming late. So I think we should be expecting fish later. So we'll show you that as well. Yeah, so the fish is super sustainable. They basically just go out there, catch a nice big fish, and then like barbecue it or fry it over here. And it's always like unbelievable. Like it's so fresh, you know, like literally hours and it's old. So good, yeah. yeah. But I mean. It's not a bad lunch, it'll fill us up and then, uh, yeah, we'll explore the rest of the island. We have might as well have a walk around the, the tides out and then chill. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoying yourself? No. No. So it's literally not stopped raining. We have napped for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Um, and this is the view currently. As you Apparently it's actually a rare occurrence for it to rain for so long. Normally it's like a short, sharp shower, so it feels like I'm back from home to It does feel it? a bit like England, yeah. But I do hope it passes. I mean, this afternoon's been a bit of a write-off, but we will probably grab some dinner in a couple of hours. Yeah, we'll show you what a typical dinner looks like here on the island, because it is really nice. Again, basic, but it's just like, it's just nice to be yeah. like, in it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then tomorrow we're hoping for blue skies, because we are doing a snorkeling trip to some manta ray points um so we'll obviously take the camera along with us for that and we're also going to a private island as well oh, so yeah. you said manta rays and private island yeah. so we just thought manta rays but private island as well so yeah exciting, and i think that starts from about 7 a.m so hopefully we'll catch sunrise as yeah. well and yeah for the boat it's only what like 800k yeah that works out to be like 40 pounds or 50 dollars so for i think it'll be most of the day i don't think it's too bad yeah that's really good yeah so for now I think we nap because we can't use our phones obviously we've not got very good phone signal. Right then, it's now 19.24, nearly half seven. The sun's completely gone, it's like pitch black here and we're about to get dinner. Hello Elizabeth. Hello. He's so lovely. <laughs> Go on, yeah, why? He's so sweet. He says he apologised because um, it's eggs again today, it's for tonight because the fisherman hasn't bought the fish. Ooh. But he says tomorrow we'll be trying all the fish. Um, and because we had a little nap earlier, he said that he, him and his workers stopped pump, like stopped doing what they were doing. Oh, bless them, did they? I wouldn't... we were sleeping. Ah. I was like, we sleep through anything, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, they really do like, oh, yeah. So we've got a slightly different version of eggs today. Yeah. Well, tonight. So we've got, what's in that yellow one? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Honestly, these these look... look so simple, but they are insane. Like, I don't know what they cook them in, but it's like, Oh. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like cabbage and potato and carrots. Oh, honestly, at home, if you tried to make us eat cabbage, <laughs> probably wouldn't have done it. But the this veg is just, it's honestly next level. I'm She's not lying. Think. It is insane. We literally and were just saying earlier that we really missed this veg from the last homestay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much a wrap for today. I mean, there's nothing else to do. The rain has stopped. The sky is clear. You can see so many stars, but it's dark. So hopefully that means tomorrow will be decent. Um, we just want some sun. We're going to get up for sunrise and then we're going to go for, to go and find some mantas. So we'll take you along pretty much everywhere with us and hopefully uh, tomorrow's a good one. So see you there. Good morning, everyone. What a seat that was, now so refreshed. 
those on the floor, it really wasn't too bad at all. Like that was actually really good sleep. Uh, woke up about quarter to six, watched some of the most amazing sunset. The sun is covered a little bit by clouds over there, but oh my God, like look at this. Huts on the beach, the sound of the waves. Oh, it's just incredible. It's so nice. Now, however, is breakfast time because we're due to leave soon for our manta ray trip. Um, and I think they're doing pancakes, I'm not too sure. We did request it yesterday, so I have to walk through here. Um, so it'd be nice to see what they uh, muster up. Beth is already there, of course. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the breakfast. And then we'll, uh, well, I can see him, Ferdinand. Good morning. And then we'll uh, get ready for the boat. Now, it's quite a warm day today and the sun, although it's a bit overcast at the moment, it should, it should pass. So hopefully we get some good weather. Um, but a real morning, that's for sure. Loved it. Now it's breakfast time. Breakfast time. Is she in here? Oh, she's not. She's in the toilet. The breakfast isn't actually ready just yet. Maybe seven o'clock. Uh, but whilst it's not ready, I will show you the local area. So this is kind of where like they live, I think. We have like a, one of their houses here and then one of them down there as well. So this is kind of like the local side. Um, it's got everything you need here. Oh, we've got a really nice bench over there. But this is kind of like what island life is like. Um, oh, that sun is unreal. That sunrise, sorry. No sun just yet. Oh. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. I mean... Not exactly the Maldives, but not far off. Salamat, good morning. People just waking up. What have we got down here? On this beach here, we've got so many of these hermit crabs. Like, it's littered with them here. Oh, absolutely littered with them. Oh, we have Elizabeth. Morning. Morning. She's a bit tired today. She's not the best with mornings. She's not, I wouldn't call her a morning person. Would you? I'm a night owl. She's a night owl, apparently. Let's go and see what we've got for breakfast then, shall we? Oh, I can see people. I can see people. Yes. It's here, it's here. Right then, what do we have, Elizabeth? Elizabeth. What do we have? Okay, ooh, we got pancakes. Yes, they look really nice actually. The thing is, when they said pancakes yesterday, I wasn't sure if that was what they meant by omelette or something. But yeah, I was thinking that actually. Yeah, no, they're right, we actually have pancakes. I would love some, thank you. I'm gonna get a cup of tea as well actually. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh so this is like such a 1990s uh, flask. I'm pretty sure my parents used to have one back in the early 2000s on like children's trips, like picnics, to be honest. That's so funny, so big. I mean, it's useful. Is it, is it good? They're really good pancakes. Really? Mm-hmm. Right level sweet. Sweetness. Mm -hmm. Sweetness. They've got like honey or something in them. Oh, yes. Mm, they're really good pancakes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think Beth likes her pancakes in the morning. So yeah. Boat's arrived. We're ready. Let's get on board. There's three of us today. Two men and a son, I think. Should be quite fun. Where do you want to go? Here? Okay. Oh, Tim McCarthy. <laughs> oh, snorkel at the ready. Look at that. Dan also boy. picked me a really nice shell. And what did you say? What were your words? I said your bot. No, he said, I've got a picture of a shell that's as beautiful as you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually did say that though. Like, yeah. No, we didn't. He doesn't usually say that. Not entirely sure which direction we're going, but I'm sure we're going to find out just in a moment. So it's got to be a really nice day today, it looks like. Yeah, the clouds are passing and it's blue skies over there, so hopefully we get some good weather. I, think so. I might need to move over a bit because it's tilting this way. There we go, that's better. Off we go. Oh, look at that. Look how blue that is. 
it's so scary to see as well because it just drops. Like yeah. you have like the reef or you have like the beachy, um, the sandy beaches, and then it just drops. And then we get too scared to go a bit further out, don't we? <laughs> you do. You do as well. <laughs> So we've just spotted our first manta ray, yeah. just over here somewhere. Uh, right then, I guess there's only one thing for us to do. Okay, let's get in. Back in the boat, that was insane. That's so cool. Literally, as soon as we got in, there was what, like, we six. saw this, yeah. I think six, I reckon, I don't know if there's ones there actually. Yeah, we either we saw about 10 or they were just circling us, but oh my god, as soon as we get in, it was like bam, straight there. There was like three or four, there's one big black one, I assume that's like a male, looked really old, and then. So, what's that? There was one that had like really silver. Yeah. I don't know what, that, what they picked that. The bit of the front with their feed. But that was actually insane. It was so cool. Like, we were expecting to see some, but like, it was just instant. They're just there. And they came so close. They're so inquisitive. They're so, they? I literally just going to say that, yeah. They're so, so interested cool. to see what you're doing. But obviously, that, keep your distance. Yeah. Like, are they a bit scary? <laughs> they're not scary at all. They're like the most harmless ones you could find. Just it's kind of how big they were. They were like huge. And that's actually the first time I've ever swam with manta rays. Yeah, me too, I think. <sighs> But like, it just shows how like abundant the life here is in Raja Ampat. I think we're gonna go to some islands next, but like the water, I hope you can see it. It's just so blue and it's, it's still a bit cloudy. But when the sun comes out fully, like it's just it's so clear. insane. There's so much life down there. That was like, that was incredible. That, that was so cool. That was so cool. Everyone's always been saying they've only ever seen like one or two around the around Raja Ampat at the minute really? as well. So we're quite lucky that we saw quite a few there. We are so lucky. We saw fucking loads. And that was actually insane. I'm so happy with that. Um, we're gonna go in once more for some more, see if we can find them. Because apparently, like when they flap their fins, you can see them on top of the water. Um, now I'm not a guy, so I don't actually know. But yeah. Um, so we're gonna go in once more, and then we're gonna check out these islands as well. But I mean, I could go home now happy. I've only been out like an hour. It's insane, isn't it? That's sick. Right then, we're back on the move. I think our next destination is this deserted little island here. Now there's not a single homestay or anything on this, so it's just like 
an uninhabited island. I mean, it's tiny, but yeah, I think there should be like a reef around it, maybe. Yeah, I think he said he, we were going on. We're going to the reef now. So we saw the manta rays. Yeah. We saw black tip. We saw we saw like two yeah two black tip sharks. Now hopefully the GoPro picked up because they were so far down the bottom, but I mean we found them. Yeah. Stingrays. Yeah. They're like little um what they're called jellyfish as well, which is terrifying. Absolutely <laughs> terrifying. But that was. I think it's only about nine o'clock now, so it's still like proper early morning. But this is sick. and such a good time. Oh, and we did see bioluminescent plankton. plankton. Yeah, I tried to get footage on here, but I'm not sure if it'll pick up or not. Nah, I've always wanted to see that as well. But look how blue that is! Oh my god, that is sick, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to come to like Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Look at that. Right then, we made it to this uh, small inhabited island, uninhabited island. Did try and get the drone up, but not playing ball because apparently got water in the connector, which really did my head in, to be honest. <laughs> Can you tell it annoys him? So annoying. The thing is, like, we just wanted to get a nice little drone shot of this, and it's just annoying because my phone's wet when it's not wet at all. Um, and she hasn't got any signal to download so the app. it's like downloading very slow. But we'll have a walk around this little island, which is literally in the middle of nowhere, and you can see like where the drop off happens. I just find it crazy how like shallow it is around here. Like even in, over there, it's it looks deep, but it's not. Yeah, like we felt like we were in the middle of the ocean, and it was honestly so shallow. Yeah, but let's have a walk. You got loads of dead coral here and um, live rock and stuff. I guess it's just been washed up over time. These clamshells are huge as well. Look at the size of that. It's absolutely massive, and it's so heavy. Can you back or you have to be That's all right. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. There are so many hermit crabs here, so they freak me out. <laughs> there is a lot. Of They're like crabs. sand spiders. Yeah, look. There's one. These islands are absolutely covered with them. Come back down. Yeah, no, this is getting up and walking. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it is a nice one. There we go. Yeah. I'll try and get him to come out. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's awake. Hello. Oh, they freak me out. <laughs> they are quite weird, aren't they? They're literally spiders, but with shells. <laughs> it's meant so that you're like, even out here in the middle of nowhere, you still get plastic rock up on the beach. What's this, like toothpaste, everything here. It's a shame. Got polystyrene there. The water really is crystal clear here. It's absolutely insane. So many different shades of blue going out to the deep blue over there. Oh god, it's nice. Not sure what Beth's doing. <laughs> Being an island gal, apparently. Should have should have timed it really. See how long it actually takes to walk on this island. So I bet if I had proper shoes on, not these little clippers, it would take no longer than five minutes to get around here. <laughs> god knows what she's doing. Not a clue. <laughs> I just saw her pick something up and throw it, so I assume she probably just picked a crab up and scared her. Pussy. That is actually pretty sick to be fair. Look at that look for a shot. Unreal. Oh, look at this. Absolute army of hermits. Oh my god, look at all them. Wow. Look at them all. They actually literally are like spiders and... Oh my god, there's so many here as well. This place is absolutely crawling with them. There's like showers of every single kind you've got here. That's insane. To be fair, they are quite weird. I'll give Beth that. Back on the boat we go. And we're going to head to that island over there. Um, basically, it's just a bigger version of this. We're gonna go snort there. It's got a reef there. We're gonna go snorkeling there. Um, and hopefully, my phone starts to work and I can get the drone up. But I mean, so annoying. The most annoying thing in the world. Back on the boat we go. Right, and Dan's turn. Those two, please. Okay. I'll put the bag down. And straight in. No, let me film you get in. See how majestic that you do it, sir. 
straight in like a bus. Yeah, you actually weren't too bad. Oh, oh there we go. Danke schön. We both are actually so unsteady. I did fall over when we snorkeled the other day, trying to get in and out of the boat. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. The sun is coming out now. These skies are lighting up, which is nice. Oh my god, look at the blue. It's so hot now, to be fair. Look at that. We've arrived. Island number two. Oh, it's so nice. And again, look how blue that is. That is so nice. Look at the state there. I honestly don't think that cameras do it justice. No. Honestly. It's like just glass, isn't it? Yeah. You see so many different shades of blue, like the further you go. It's yeah. insane. It's actually incredible. Hopefully, this is dried out and get drone up. I mean, I actually don't have much hope, to be honest. I don't have much hope at all. It's so annoying. Yeah, but look at that. What a view. Jalan Jalan. Okay. Okay, okay. Jalan Jalan, eh, photo, photo. Okay, photo, photo. Okay, okay. <laughs> jalan Jalan, eh, photo, photo. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. This island's so nice, isn't it? What are you doing? Hmm. Wow. It's the whitest sand I've ever seen in my life. Incredible. Jeff Nabi Bazaar? Yeah, Jeff Nabi Bazaar, uh, Coral. Okay. So that is the island's name. Now, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but it's around Jeff Nabi Bazaar. Yes, yeah, so we've got. All I wrote down the notes yesterday was Yef Navi, small and big. Ah, okay. So it's small island, big island. So I'm guessing that's small. That <laughs> and one's this, oh, that one's small and big. Ah, <laughs> nice. Uh, Indonesia. Yeah. Kapal. Kapal. Kapal tourist. Ah, uh, tourist. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. So <laughs> I think Kapal means tourist. We're Kapal. Oh, and now we're going into the jungle. Now you can see so much plastic washed up here. I mean, it's good it's on a bank because it doesn't go back into the sea, but it just shows you how much. Oh my god, there's so much. Look at all that. And like washed up fishnets. Yeah. So many plastic bottles. That's so sad. In a corner of the world where there's barely any tourists whatsoever and such a small population. Even these islands just get decimated by plastic. That's mad, isn't it? So fucked up. So sad. God knows what I'm standing on, to be honest. Be careful with your feet. Look at it all. Wow. The chair there. Such a shame. Listerine bottles, like glass bottles, medicines. Water bottles, flip flops, there's a lot. Oh. There's so much plastic here. This is sad, isn't it? So, boat is all parked up. We are now going on for our second part of this island, I'd say. We've got our snorkel gear here, which we're just going to grab. And we are going to snorkel just round kind of the reef here of this secluded island. Um, I'm not too sure what to expect down below. We did see some clownfish just in the kind of shallows of um, this part of the island. So I'm excited to see what we'll, we'll find a bit further down. Hopefully more clownfish. Me and Dan are obsessed with clownfish, aren't we? Yeah, they're so nice, aren't they? Yeah, he's going like, to... It just makes... If you see clownfish, you know it's tropical, I think. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you haven't seen Finding Nemo because classic film. Dan is now just trying to get the drone up. Take two. So hopefully we can add some shots in of the island very shortly. If not, this is going in there. <laughs> yeah. If not, then we will take you along with us for a snorkel.
Right then, it's snorkeling time. Let's go see what's down there off this ledge. It should be a nice reef. It should be a nice reef. It looks unreal from here. <laughs> starving so hopefully lunch is gonna be soon but what an incredible day that was that was insane sharks the best day we've had here so far yeah sharks dolphins turtles manta rays like stingrays. Whole, uh, stingrays that was insane and like just to come back to this it's so sick oh, this place seems from sleep let's get my bikini on a sunday this place is fucking incredible thank you thank you so much. Okay. Best guys. How nice were they? So nice. Alright, let's get on. Oh, let's board. Oh. <laughs> it's lunchtime. 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 It is here. Ooh. So we have some very, very fresh fish. You can literally see his poor little sad face. Oh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like looking at it. And then we've got rice, vegetables, like potato, cabbage, um, carrots. I'm not too sure what that is. It's like some sort of marinade, this, I guess. But yeah, we'll have to uh, chop this up, get the meat off it. And then that's it. So that is it for today. I kind of feel like the last 24 hours exploring the islands, seeing the manta rays and all that kind of jazz. It's I've been absolutely, incredible. Yeah, it's been so good. This island's Joe Suba. We'll link it all in the description below, but that sun is, is insane, like, so nice. And the host is just a dream. Um, we leave here tomorrow to go to another island, of which we'll do another vlog for. Um, that one is like a blue lagoon, so again, something really to look forward to. Rufus. Rufus. I can't even get my words out then. You're out breath, you Yeah, are, I am out of breath, just ran. ran. To get GoPro. <laughs> yeah, oh, that smells good, that does. Yeah, it's quite nice, actually. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the blue lagoon, Rufus, tomorrow.